بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سٹوڈنٹس دس از ویک نمبر تھرٹین آف دا کورس سافٹ ویئر پروجیکٹ مینجمنٹ ان دس لیکچر وی ول فوکس آن واٹ از پروجیکٹ رسک مینجمنٹ سو بفور اسٹارٹنگ ٹو ڈیز لیکچر لیٹس ہیو اے لک ٹوڈ دا پریویس لیکچر کانٹینٹس In the previous lecture, we focused on the importance of human resource management in detail. With this, we also studied that what is project human resource management and what are the keys to manage people or the human resources. We also focused on developing the human resource plan in detail. So, In today's lecture, we will start chapter number 11 of the book, which is Project Risk Management. Today, we will focus on an understanding that what risk is and the importance of good project risk management. We will discuss the elements involved in risk management planning and the contents of risk management plan. We will also list common resources of risks in information technology projects as well as we will describe the process of identifying risks and be able to create a risk register. We will also provide few examples of using different risk response planning strategies to address both negative and positive risks. as well as we will discuss what is involved in monitoring and controlling risks so first of all we will see that the importance of project risk management project risk management is the art and science of identifying analyzing and responding to the risk throughout the life of the project so basically this particular knowledge area of project management which is called project risk management deals with identifying analyzing and respond to risks throughout the life of the project so it involves to identify analyze and how to deal or respond to particular risks in the life cycle of a project management and in the best interests of meeting project objectives the focus to or the purpose to identify analyze and to deal or handle or respond to risk is basically to achieve or to meet the project objectives risk management is often overlooked in the projects but it can help improve project success by helping select good projects determining project scope and developing realistic estimates so in order to manage the risks properly we work on projects related to risk management it can help us to improve the project success by helping and selecting good projects determining the project scope and developing the realistic estimates by identifying the right risk we not also can improve the project success by selection of right projects as well as we can determine the project scopes and develop and can develop the realistic estimates now we will see that what is a negative risk A dictionary definition of risk is the possibility of loss or injury. So we can define the risk as a possibility of some loss or damage or injury. A risk is basically some abnormal situation suddenly occurs during during the normal project execution. In order to avoid and manage these risks we must plan for effective risk management process negative risks involves understanding potential problems that might occur in the project and how they might impede the project success so the negative risks are the ones involves 
understanding the potential problems that affect the project success and that might occur during the project execution process. So negative risk management is like a form of insurance, it is an investment. So to manage the negative risk, we can assure the success of our projects by managing the risks effectively. If we will identify the negative risk before the execution of the project, we will have a contingency plan to manage those risks which suddenly occurs during the project execution process. So at that time, we will have a contingency plan in order to manage those negative risks. This will, of course, improve the chances of project success by managing these potential negative risks. So, we can say risks can be positive. How? A positive risk are basically those risks that result in good things or happenings, sometimes called opportunities. In order to make the process more effective, we have certain opportunities. By utilizing these positive opportunities, we can make the execution process more efficient. So, these are those types of risks which has a positive impact on the execution of the project. They can bring positive changes inside the project execution. So, a general definition of the project risk is an uncertainty that can have a negative or positive effect on meeting project objectives. So, we can define the project risk that it is basically some uncertainty that has some negative or positive effect on meeting the project objectives. Every risk contains some kind of impact on the project execution. So, a risk can be positive and negative. According to the nature of the risk, it will affect the meeting the project objectives criteria. The goal of project risk management is to minimize potential negative risks while maximizing potential positive risks. So, the focus of project risk management is to avoid or minimize or reduce the negative risks as well as to maximize the potential positive risks in project risk management process.